Are you ready to play? Let's go! Why don't we start with number one? That looks like it's dark blue. Can you point to the number one that's dark blue? Right, it's right here. Okay, let's put our number one that's dark blue right there. Now, we need to put the loop right there. Hmm, we're looking for a dark blue. I think I see one right there. Okay, here we go. One circle. And let's put it on our peg. What's next? It's the number two. That looks blue also. Do you see a blue number two? Yes, it's right there. Blue number two. And let's put it right there. Now we need to look for our circles. We're looking for a lighter blue. Can you point to it for me? Well, that looks light blue, but I'm not sure it's the right color. Here's one, that looks like the same color. And here's another one. Let's count them to make sure we have the right ones. That's the number two. So let's count our circles. One and two. Yes, that's right. Next is the number three. That looks like an even lighter blue, almost teal. Do you see a number three? Right, it's right there. Number three. So let's put it in its spot. Now, let's find the circles. Okay, do you remember the color of that number three? Do you see the circles? Yes, I see them, they're right here. Let's pick them up and count and make sure we have three circles. Here we go. One, count with me, two, and three. One, two, three. Do you know what number's next? Yes, it's the number four. Do you see a teal number four? Yes, it's right here. You're doing so great. Number four. And let's put it in its spot. Now, let's count the circles. Do you remember that color teal? I think I see them. Here's one. There's another one. And now let's pick them all up and then we're gonna count them to make sure we have all the right numbers. Okay, here we go. Don't forget to count with me. One, two, three, and four. We made it to number four. Hey, this is a different color. This one is green and that's the number five. That's a dark green. Do you see a dark green number five? Yes, I do see it, it's right here. Dark green number five. Okay, put it right there. And you know what to do next. We need to find five dark green circles. Here's one, there's another one. Boy, there's a lot of circles to pick up now. I'll hold them all in my hand. Okay, let's count and make sure we have the right amount. Count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Yep, that's number five. Next, we have the number six. This is a lighter green. Do you see a number six that's light green? Yes, it's back here, you got it. Number six, light green. Okay, put that there. And next for our circles. But let's make sure we have all six. Let's pick them up. Help me find them. Oh, one was hiding under the orange. Okay, count out loud with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, uh-oh, I gotta get it in my hand. Four, five, and six. You're doing great. Hey, what color is that? That's the color yellow, and that's the number seven. And there's only one yellow number seven. Here it is. We'll put it right there. Now will you help me count to seven with our yellow circles? Okay, let's gather them up. And here we go. 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, that's just six. We're missing one. Where did it go? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's hiding underneath the orange one. There we go, number seven. We're almost there. Do you know what number this is? It looks like two circles. It's the number eight, and this one is orange. Do you see a number eight that's orange? Right, here it is, the number eight. And now let's count. Well, this one might be kind of hard to see. We have some light orange. Why don't we start with those? Okay, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there should be one more. Yes, here it is, eight. That's number eight. Now we have number nine. That's a dark orange. And do you see the number nine dark orange? Right, here it is, number nine. Okay, let's put it right here in its spot. Wow, this is really close, this color. Some look orange and some look red. Can you help me find all of the orange circles? Okay, here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine! We did it! I'm so proud of you. Hey, what's our last number here? That's the big one, number 10. And I think you can point out the number 10 to me. Right, here it is, number 10. Let's put it in its spot. Ah! Oh no, it fell. <laughs> put it in its spot, and now you can help me count. These are all the circles we have left. Count with me, loud. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You did it. Help me count all of them one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten right what are all of these other shapes we are missing on the board will you help me fill them in we practiced our colors so i think this should be easy let's start with dark blue do you know what shape that is yes it's a square and looking at these shapes here do you see a dark blue right here it is dark blue square there we go. And here we have blue. What is that? Think real hard. Right, it's a circle. Can you point to the blue circle? Good job, blue circle. And here is a blue, what is this? It has three corners and three sides of equal length. Right, it's a triangle. Can you point to the triangle? Yes, you did it. Here it is, blue triangle. Look at all of these different shades of blue. Here's our teal. Teal is sort of like blue, but what shape is that? When you look up at the sky real high, you see it. Right, it's a star. Do you see a teal star? You did great. Here you go. Let's put it right there. Okay, and next we have what color is this? Right, it's dark green. What shape is that? 
It's a hexagon. Six sides of equal length and six corners. Now let's find our green hexagon. Point to it. Yes, you got it. Green hexagon. What about this? It sort of looks like the square. A square has four corners and four sides of equal length. So how is this one different? Hmm. Well, there are four corners. One, two, three, four. But it looks like the sides are different. These are the same size. And these are the same size, but different. Yes, it's a rectangle. A rectangle has two sides of equal length and two sides of different length. Here we go. Can you point to the green rectangle? Yes, here it is. Green rectangle. And here we have a heart. What color is that? Yes, it's yellow. Okay, let's find the yellow heart. Okay, there's not many shapes left. You got it. Yellow heart. What about this one? It sort of looks like a cross. It's a plus sign. And it's orange. Okay, let's find the orange plus sign. Right. Here it is. It was almost hiding. Orange plus. What about this one? That's orange also. But what symbol is it? It's a subtraction symbol, a minus sign. And do you know which one of these it is? Right. It's right here. The orange minus sign or subtraction. And our last one right here. This one might be a hard one. Let me help you out. This one is red and you use it when you are counting in math. It's an equal sign. Put it right there. Good job. I'm having so much fun playing this game. Let's keep going. Why don't we match the alphabet letters with the spot it goes in and we can put our alphabet together. Hmm, let's start with this one. It's the letter B and it's blue. Hey, B starts with blue. Which one should we do next? How about this one? It's an R. This R is teal. Do you see where the letter R goes? Right, there. Next, why don't we do, here, let's do the letter M. This one is red. The letter M, do you point, can you point to where it goes? Yes, there on the end. Now, why don't we do, hey, what are those? Oh, these are fish. This is gonna be part of a game we do later. But these are animals. Maybe we should try to find an animal that matches one of the letters. Okay, let's play that game. How about, what's this? It's a monkey. What letter does monkey start with? Right, the letter M. Hey, we've already placed the letter M. It's right there, monkey. Now let's find where the monkey's supposed to go. Right there. Why don't we do the letter K next? The letter K is orange. And let's put it in its spot. Next, let's do the letter U. This one is green. The letter U goes right there. Now let's do, oh, how about this one? The letter F, and it's green also. The letter F. Should we look for another animal that might have one of these letters? Let's see. Um, well, that's a panda bear, and we haven't done a p panda bear yet, a P. What about, yes, how about a fox? A fox starts with the letter F, and we already placed the letter F. So where does the fox go? Right here. Hmm, okay, let's go back to the letters. How about the letter W, and this one's orange, right there. Next, why don't we do the one that starts at the beginning of the alphabet, the letter A, and it's dark blue. A, hmm, how about, here we go, the letter T, it's green. Where does the letter T go? There it is. How about, let's do this one. The letter E. This one's green. 
Let's look for another animal that might start with one of these letters. Let's see if there's one that starts with the letter E. E makes an eh, eh, or E sound. Hey, what about elephant? Elephant starts with the letter E. Let's see if we're right. Yes, that's where the elephant goes. You're doing great. Let's try one more. Do you think there's one that starts with an R? R makes a rrr sound. Rrr, rabbit. Yes, it's a rabbit and it starts with the letter R. Where does the rabbit go? Right here. Get that to fit. Uh oh, backwards. There we go. Let's do some more letters. How about the letter S and it's green? Let's put that in its home. Where's it go? There we go. S. Now let's do the letter Y. This one looks like red or dark orange. Let's say it's red. Now let's do, how about, how about an N? Make sure we have it right. That's the letter N and it's blue. It goes right here. Do you think there are any more animals that we can choose from? Hmm, what about this one? Do you know what animal that is? Right, it's a turtle. Turtle starts with the letter T. T, 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 turtle. So let's see if we're right. Yes, that's where the turtle goes. Let's do another one. What about this one? What is that? Right, it's a bird. Bird starts with B, B, the letter B. There's the letter B. And where do we put our bird? Right here. Great job. Let's do some more letters. How about the letter H? And that one is yellow. So let's put that right there. And how about the letter O? And that's blue. It goes after the letter N. And now the letter C, and that's blue also. And how about the letter G? That one's green. G, now we're just missing a few. Wait a second, I think I see an animal that starts with the letter G. Do you see an animal that starts with the letter G? Right, giraffe. J, J, giraffe. That's right. And let's see where it goes. Right here. Okay, you're great. Let's do this one. The letter L and it's orange. I think I see another animal that starts with the letter L. Which one of these starts with the letter L? Yes, it's a lion. Can you roar like a lion? Roar, <laughs> right. And here it goes to its home. Here's the letter I, it's yellow. Here's the letter X, and it's orange. The letter Z sounds like Z, and it's red. And here we have the letter P, and this one's blue. It goes right there. I think I saw an animal that starts with a P. Which one of these animals starts with P? Right, it's panda. Panda starts with P. Let's put that one right there. And let's finish our letters, we're almost done. D goes right there, just like the dog. And Q, do you know a bird that starts with the letter Q? Quail, right, whoops, let's put that right there. And how about the letter J? Let's put that there, that one's orange. And our last one, it's the letter V and it's yellow. And let's put that right there. Hey, we still have one animal left. This is a frog. Frog starts with the letter F, F frog. Let's put it in its home, right there. Do you know what a frog sounds like? Ribbit, right. Let's say our alphabet together before we find all of our fish that need to come in here. Okay, say it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, come back down here, N, 
O P Q R S T U V W X Y and what's our last one? Z, right, great job. Now for the last part of our game. We need to find the fish that matches the color. Well, we can't just pick it up with our hand. We have to try to get it with this fishing pole. Do you think we can do it? I think we can. Which one should we try to get first? How about that one? Is it gonna get it? Yes, it did. This one is green. Okay, let's try to put it here in our green spot. We did it. And now the green fish is in his home. Which one should we do next? How about a blue one? Let's see, are you gonna get it? Yes, we got it. And now we're gonna put it in the blue home. How about right there? Good job. Why don't we try this one? Hmm, you got it. Keep trying. Yes, we got it. This one looks yellow. Okay, let's try to put it here in the yellow home. You did it again, you're doing great. And now, how about the green one? Wow, that was fast, you're getting better and better. The green fish. And here, let's put it in this green home. Yes, we did it. Next, I want to choose this one. Are we gonna get it? Yeah, we did it. This one has orange on the side. So let's put it in the orange home. Right there. In between numbers eight and nine. Done. Now I wanna go for this one. We did it. This one is blue. It's another blue one. Why don't we put it right here in between numbers three and four? Here we go. Yes, we did it. We got that one. Okay, this one is orange again. Let's put it right here. It's kind of a dark orange. And now we have just a couple of fish left, three fish actually. Here's a dark blue, and that'll go here in between numbers one and two. And here we have a light blue. You did great, you're getting better and better each time. Let's put it here in between numbers four and five. And our last one. There we go, you did it. It goes all the way here at the very end, next to number 10. Great job. Wow, what a fun game today. So many parts. We counted numbers and shapes and letters of the alphabet and animals. And we counted our circles and then we matched the colored fish. Thank you, Ryden and Annalyn, for your help today. Red Barn One. Number Block One. That's red also. Red in Spanish is rojo. Number One. Number One. And that has one red dot. Red Ice Cream Number One. Hmm, what's that? It's one red dinosaur. Red dinosaur, red ice cream number one, red number block number one, and red barn number one. Orange barn number two. What's that? Number block two, and he's orange also. This barn is orange. In Spanish, that's anaranjado. Number block two is orange also. Anaranjado. Ice cream number two, and it's orange. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, hey, it's dinosaurs. Let's count them. One and two. Two orange dinosaurs. We have two orange dinosaurs, Anaranjado, number block two, and barn number two. That's the number two, 
and that's two dots. One, two. Green barn number three. Let's count the dots. One, two, three. What's inside? It's number block three. But hey, number block three isn't green. It's yellow. This barn is green. And in Spanish, that's verde. Number block three is yellow. In Spanish, that's amarillo. Ice cream number three. And it's green too. Let's see what's inside. It looks like green dinosaurs. Let's count them and see how many we have. One, two, and three. Three green dinosaurs. Three green dinosaurs with a green ice cream. Verde. A green barn. And that's the number three with three drops. One, two, three. But that's number block number three. What color is he? Not green. Right, he's yellow. Do you remember what that is in Spanish? Amarillo. You're so smart. Blue barn number four. What's inside? Oh, look, it's another number block. Well, this number block has a four on it, but that's not blue. Do you know what color that is? Right, it's green. Blue in Spanish is azul. Green in Spanish was verde. That's the number four, and that's the number four. Number four, ice cream cone. It's more dinosaurs. Let's count how many we have. The dinosaurs are blue and the ice cream cone, azul. Let's see. One, two, three, and our last one, four. Four blue dinosaurs. Four blue dinosaurs. One blue barn with the number four and number block four. But do you remember this color? Right, this is green, verde. But that's the number four. Purple barn five. Let's count these dots. One, two, three, four, five. Five dots, what's inside? Oh look, it's another number block car. This number block car is also number five. But it's not purple, it's blue. Purple in Spanish is morado. Blue in Spanish is azul, the number five. Pink ice cream number five. Hmm, oh look, it's pterodactyls. They're purple. Let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, and five. These are purple, morado. The ice cream is pink, rosado. The car is blue, azul. And the barn is purple, morado. Look at all of the colors you're learning today. Great job. We have a big job today. Look at all of these numbers this blank number board, and all of these dinosaurs with colors. We need to find the number, count the dinosaurs, and then put it on the board. Can you help me do that? <laughs> Great. Why don't we start with this number? That's the number five, and it's blue. Okay, now our job is to find five blue dinosaurs. One, count with me, two, Three, four, and five. Five blue dinosaurs. Now let's put number five in his home. Our next number, which one should we do? How about number two? This number two is green. Now we need to find two green dinosaurs. Here we go, one, Two, that was easy. Okay, two green dinosaurs. 
Let's put number two in his home right there. How about another green one? It's number three. Number three is green like number two. So we know we have green dinosaurs. Let's count them. One, two, and three. Three green dinosaurs. Okay, let's put number three in his home next to number two. Let's see what's next. How about, why don't we do this one? Number one, it's yellow. Now we need to find, wait, let's put away our green dinosaurs. Let's find one yellow dinosaur. I see lots of yellow dinosaurs. Here we go, one. And now we can put number one in his home. Next, let's find, how about this one? You know I love purple. This is the number seven. Did you see seven purple dinosaurs? Yep, I see them. Let's count. Do you know what kind of dinosaur these are? Yes, it's a pterodactyl. One pterodactyl. Two pterodactyls. Three pterodactyls. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Whoops, I dropped it. Seven pterodactyls. Okay, now let's put number seven on the board. He goes right here. Which number should we do next? Hmm, how about this one? It's the number six, and it's blue. Let's find blue dinosaurs. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six blue dinosaurs. Now we can put number six in his home between five and seven. We are almost ready to count, but we're missing a number. Do you know what number is missing from here? Yes, it's the number four. Let's find number four. Here it is, we found it. And it's green. Okay, we have to find four green dinosaurs. One, two, and three. Now, four. We got them. And we can put number four in his home. And now let's try counting. Let's see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, do you know what number is next? Yes, it's the number eight. Let's find number eight. Do you see number eight? It's up there and it's pink. Okay, hey, I don't see any pink dinosaurs. Why don't we use the purple ones? You know I love purple. Okay, let's use the purple pterodactyls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. Hey, Mr. Red Dinosaur, you're not supposed to be there. We need to put you back over here with the other red ones. Now we can put number eight in his home. Let's see what we have next. Do you want to try a big number? One of these double digits? Why not? Why don't we try this one? Do you know what number that is? It's 13. It's green. And let's try to count 13 dinosaurs. Here we go. Let's start with the green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hmm. We only have eight green dinosaurs. Should we try a different color? Why don't we pick a different color to keep counting? We had eight. Next is number nine. Why don't we use the orange ones? Nine, 10, 
11, 12, and 13. Let's see. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green dinosaurs, plus one, two, three, four, five orange dinosaurs. That equals 13. Great job. Let's put 13 in his home right here. What number should we do now? How about the purple one? That's number 17. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Why don't we just count a lot of colors? Okay, let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Let's put 17 in his home right here. What about this one? It's the number nine. This number nine is red. Let's count nine red dinosaurs. One, two, are you counting with me? Three, four, Six, there it is, seven, eight. We just need one more. Do you see any more red dinosaurs? I don't. Why don't we pick a different color for number nine? <laughs> Let's do the orange. Number nine, eight red dinosaurs plus one orange one equals nine. You're doing so great. Let's put number nine here in his home. Now what should we do next? Why don't we do number 10? Okay, this one is orange. Let's count first five orange dinosaurs. One, two, three, four, and five. That's five orange dinosaurs. Now we need five more to make 10. What color do you want to choose? How about yellow? Let's count the yellow ones. This is number six, number seven, eight, nine, and oops, 10. Yes, five orange dinosaurs plus five yellow dinosaurs equals 10. You are learning how to add, you're doing great. Should we count and see where we're at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Do you know what number's next? You're right, it's number 11. Do you know what number 11 looks like? Yes, it's up here. It looks like two ones next to each other. This is yellow. Let's see how many yellow dinosaurs we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see any more? Yes, right there. Eight. Well, I only see eight yellow dinosaurs. Why don't we count some green ones so we get to 11? Here we have eight yellow dinosaurs, nine, 10, and 11. That means eight yellow dinosaurs plus three green dinosaurs equals the number 11. Let's put number 11 here. Do you know what number's next? 
Yes, you're right, it's the number 12. Do you know what color the number 12 is? Well, here it is. First of all, it's upside down. And it's green. Should we count how many dinosaurs we have? Let's get to the number 12. Start with green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight green dinosaurs. Hmm, I don't see any more green dinosaurs. Why don't we start counting blue ones? So this makes number nine, 10, 11, and 12. That means eight green dinosaurs plus four blue ones equals 12. Number 12. Okay, let's put all our dinosaurs back. And what do we have next? Let's choose the number 18. That's a big number. This one is pink. Lots of dinosaurs to count. Will you count with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Look at all of those dinosaurs. That equals 18. Let's put number 18 here. We only have a few numbers left. Why don't we do this one? It's blue. That's the number 14. Let's see. Why don't we count our blue dinosaurs first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't see any more blue dinosaurs. And we have eight. Let's keep counting some green ones till we get to 14. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. That's it. That's a lot of dinosaurs. They all equal 14. Let's put number 14 on the board now, just after 13. Okay, what numbers do we have left here? I see this one. It's number 15, the number that comes after 14. Are you ready to count 15 dinosaurs? Why don't we make it a math problem? Okay, first I wanna count five blue dinosaurs. One, two, three, four, five, okay. And then I want to count, how about five green dinosaurs? One, two, three, four, and five. This means five blue dinosaurs plus five green dinosaurs. Well, that equals 10. We need how many more dinosaurs to make 15? Five more, right. Why don't we pick the red ones? One, two, three. Uh-oh, the dinosaurs are falling. Four, and here's one, five. That equals 15 dinosaurs. You did great, that's a big number. Now we need number 16. And here's number 16, it's blue. Let's count how many dinosaurs make 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. That's 16 dinosaurs all piled up. Now we can put number 16 in his home right there after 15. What's next? I wanna save number 20 for last. Let's do number 19. Another big number, let's count together. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Number 19 makes 19 dinosaurs. Okay, hmm, we have two numbers left. Let's do number 20. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Make sure you help me and count. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty dinosaurs all piled up. Let's put number 20 in our home. I do have one number left. Do you know what number this is? It's the number zero, which represents zero dinosaurs. So there's nothing to count. We can just put number 20 right here. Are you ready to count together with me? Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Why don't we put our adding and subtracting symbols away? That's the equal sign, that's the plus sign, and that's the minus sign. You did so great today with the numbers and the dinosaurs. Let's play again another day. Big F, little F, and that's purple. Big N, little N, and that's pink. Big T, little T, purple. Big K, Little K, green. Big Z, little Z, blue. Big R, little R, green. Big M, little M, purple. Big L, little L, blue. Big Q, little Q, yellow. Big P, little P, orange. Big O, little O, red. Big C, little C, yellow. Big A, little A, red. Big B, little B, 
Orange. Oh no, I dropped some. Big V, little V, red. Big Y, little Y, green. Big G, little G, pink. Big W, little W, orange. Big D, little D, green. Big J, little J, yellow. Big S, little S, blue. Big H, little H, red. Big U, little U, pink. Big X, Little X, yellow. Big I, little I, orange. Big E, little E, blue. Hey, these aren't in the right order. Will you help me put them in alphabet order? Thanks. The first letter of the alphabet is A. The next letter is B. Can you see the letter B? Can you point to it? Yes, there it is. B. Now we need to look for the letter C. There it is. C. And where is the letter D? Here it is. D. E. F. G. H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now our alphabet is all in the right order. Let's say it all one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z, great job. Look at all these colors we have. It looks like all the colors of the rainbow. Can you find all of the yellow ice cream cones? Look really closely. There's one, two, three, and four. Now let's find all of the red ice cream cones. One, two, Three, four. Let's look for the orange ice cream cones. And count with me this time. One, two, three, four. Now let's look for the green ones. One, two, three, four. How about the blue? One, two, three, four. And now the purple. You know that's my favorite color. One, two, three. 
There's no number four. Now let's look for the pink. One, two, and three. That was so much fun. Let's do it one more time. The first letter of the alphabet is A. The next letter is B. Can you see the letter B? Can you point to it? Yes, there it is. B. Now we need to look for the letter C. There it is. C. And where is the letter D? Here it is. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. X. Y. And Z. Thanks for all your help today. Let's match our letters and our colors. Take our magnet pen. Why don't we start with the letter R. This R is green. R is for rabbit. <laughs> Let's find our R. Here it is. Drop it right there. Make sure it goes in. We did it. Next we have, it's the letter A. This one is yellow. The letter A is for alligator. Now, do you see where the letter A is on our magnet board? Right, it's up here. It starts the alphabet. Here we go, drop it in. Is it almost there? <laughs> we did it. The letter A, yellow. What's next? Oh, it's another yellow letter. This one is P. P is for porcupine and pineapple. This one is yellow. Let's find a yellow P. Here we go. It's right there. Drop it in. Did we do it? <laughs> yes, we did it. What's over here? It looks like the letter V. V is for Valentine and V is for vegetable. Purple. Hmm, here it is. Let's drop it in the letter V. Which one should we do next? How about this one? It's the letter K and it's red. K is for kangaroo. Here it is. I found it right here and it dropped in. Next we have the letter N. This N is red. N is for nuts. The number nine starts with the letter N. Let's find the N red. Here it is. Yay, it went in. What do we have here? It's yellow, and that's the letter E. E is for elephant. Do you see a yellow E? Here it is. Now we have a Q. Q is for quail. This Q is blue. I don't think there are any blue quail though. Do you see a blue Q? Right, there it is. Now we have the letter H. This H is green. H stands for hippo and happy. How about happy hippo? Do you see the letter H green? I do. Great job. Now we have another letter that's also green. This one is the letter G. Hey, the color green starts with a G. And gorilla. I see it up here. We 
we did it! Now we have the letter L, and this L is purple. L stands for love and lily. Let's match our letters, and there you did it! Here we go. This one is red. It's the letter C. C is for cat and cup. Can you see where the letter C goes? And it's red? Yes, it's right there. Now we have the letter B. B is for boy and box and ball. This letter B is blue. Hey, the color blue also starts with B. And there we go, find its home. What about this one? It's another blue letter, but this one is the letter M. M is for mother and mouse. Here we go, let's find the blue M and drop it in. It worked. Now we have a green letter T. T is for table and turtle. Hey, turtles are green. And right here is our letter T. Now we have the letter O. O is for octopus. This one is red. And let's put it in its home, red O. Which one should we do next? Let's do this one. The letter D, and it's green. D stands for dog. But I don't think there are any green dogs. Let's help D find its home. Hey, this alphabet's starting to come together. A, B, C, D, E. What's our next letter? Yes, it's the letter F. Do you think you can help me find it down here? We found it. The letter F, this one is purple. F is for friend and family. Hmm, let's bring it home. There! Should we see which one comes next? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, right! This I is blue. I is for igloo. And let's put I here just after H. And now we need the letter J. There it is. J is upside down. J is for joker. This J is yellow. Here we go and drop it in. Our alphabet is almost complete. We need to look for the letter S. Do you see the letter S? Right, here it is. The letter S is for snake and this one is red. There you go. Uh-oh, it's not going in. Yes, we did it. Now we need the letter U. It looks like this one is purple. Do you see a purple U over here? Yes, you got it. U and purple. What starts with the letter U? A unicorn. Great job. Now we need a W. This one is red. Where is a red W. You got it. It's right here. A red W. W is for woman and winner. Red. Drop that in. We only have three left. Let's match our last three letters. Which letter is this? It's an X. And this one is purple. X is with an X-ray or xylophone. Let's put our purple X in its home. We only have two left. Let's go with our Z. This Z is yellow. Z is for zebra, but I don't think there are any yellow zebras. And now our last letter. It's the letter Y. Y is for yo-yo. This one is blue. There we go. Let's make sure we have our whole alphabet together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, 
W, X, Y, and Z. You did it! Great job! If you'd like to purchase this toy, click on the link in the description below. We have a big job today. Look at all of these numbers, this blank number board, and all of these dinosaurs with colors. We need to find the number, count the dinosaurs, and then put it on the board. Can you help me do that? <laughs> Great. Why don't we start with this number? That's the number five, and it's blue. Okay, now our job is to find five blue dinosaurs. One, count with me, two, three, four, and five. Five blue dinosaurs. Now let's put number five in his home. Our next number, which one should we do? How about number two? This number two is green. Now we need to find two green dinosaurs. Here we go. One and two. That was easy. Okay, two green dinosaurs. Let's put number two in his home right there. How about another green one? It's number three. Number three is green like number two. So we know we have green dinosaurs. Let's count them. One, two, and three. Three green dinosaurs. Okay, let's put number three in his home next to number two. Let's see what's next. How about, why don't we do this one? Number one, it's yellow. Now we need to find, wait, let's put away our green dinosaurs. Let's find one yellow dinosaur. I see lots of yellow dinosaurs. Here we go, one. And now we can put number one in his home. Next, let's find, how about this one? You know I love purple. This is the number seven. Did you see seven purple dinosaurs? Yep, I see them. Let's count. Do you know what kind of dinosaur these are? Yes, it's a pterodactyl. One pterodactyl, two pterodactyls, three pterodactyls, four, five, six, and seven. Whoops, I dropped it. Seven pterodactyls. Okay, now let's put number seven on the board. He goes right here. Which number should we do next? Hmm, how about this one? It's the number six, and it's blue. Let's find blue dinosaurs. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blue dinosaurs. Now we can put number six in his home between five and seven. We are almost ready to count, but we're missing a number. Do you know what number is missing from here? Yes, it's the number four. Let's find number four. Here it is. We found it. And it's green. Okay, we have to find four green dinosaurs. One, two, and three. Now four. We got them. And we can put number four in his home. And now let's try counting. Let's see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, do you know what number is next? Yes, it's the number eight. Let's find number eight. Do you see number eight? It's up there, and it's pink. Okay, hey, I don't see any pink dinosaurs. Why don't we use the purple ones? You know I love purple. Okay, let's use the purple pterodactyls. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and number eight. Hey, Mr. Red Dinosaur, you're not supposed to be there. We need to put you back over here with the other red ones. Now we can put number eight in his home. Let's see what we have next. Do you wanna try a big number? One of these double digits? Why not? Why don't we try this one? Do you know what number that is? It's 13. It's green. And let's try to count 13 dinosaurs. Here we go. Let's start with the green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, we only have eight green dinosaurs. Should we try a different color? Why don't we pick a different color to keep counting? We had eight, next is number nine. Why don't we use the orange ones? Nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Let's see. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green dinosaurs, plus one, two, three, four, five orange dinosaurs. That equals 13. Great job. Let's put 13 in his home right here. What number should we do now? How about the purple one? That's number 17. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Why don't we just count a lot of colors? Okay, let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Let's put 17 in his home right here. What about this one? It's the number nine. This number nine is red. Let's count nine red dinosaurs. One, two, are you counting with me? Three, four, Six, there it is, seven, eight. We just need one more. Do you see any more red dinosaurs? I don't. Why don't we pick a different color for number nine? <laughs> Let's do the orange. Number nine, eight red dinosaurs plus one orange one equals nine. You're doing so great. Let's put number nine here in his home. And what should we do next? Why don't we do number 10? Okay, this one is orange. Let's count first five orange dinosaurs. One, two, three, four, and five. That's five orange dinosaurs. Now we need five more to make 10. What color do you wanna choose? How about yellow? Let's count the yellow ones. This is number six, number seven, eight, nine, and oops, 10. Yes, five orange dinosaurs plus five yellow dinosaurs equals 10. 
You are learning how to add. You're doing great. Should we count and see where we're at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you know what number's next? You're right, it's number 11. Do you know what number 11 looks like? Yes, it's up here. It looks like two ones next to each other. This is yellow. Let's see how many yellow dinosaurs we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see any more? Yes, right there. Eight. Well, I only see eight yellow dinosaurs. Why don't we count some green ones so we get to 11? Here we have eight yellow dinosaurs. Nine, 10, and 11. That means eight yellow dinosaurs plus three green dinosaurs equals the number 11. Let's put number 11 here. Do you know what number's next? Yes, you're right, it's the number 12. Do you know what color the number 12 is? Well, here it is. First of all, it's upside down. And it's green. Should we count how many dinosaurs we have? Let's get to the number 12. Start with green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that's eight green dinosaurs. Hmm, I don't see any more green dinosaurs. Why don't we start counting blue ones? So this makes number nine, 10, 11, and 12. That means eight green dinosaurs plus four blue ones equals 12. Number 12. Okay, let's put all our dinosaurs back. And what do we have next? Let's choose the number 18. That's a big number. This one is pink. Lots of dinosaurs to count. Will you count with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Look at all of those dinosaurs. That equals eighteen. Let's put number 18 here. We only have a few numbers left. Why don't we do this one? It's blue. That's the number 14. Let's see. Why don't we count our blue dinosaurs first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't see any more blue dinosaurs. And we have eight. Let's keep counting some green ones till we get to 14. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. That's it. That's a lot of dinosaurs. They all equal 14. Let's put number 14 on the board now, just after 13. Okay, what numbers do we have left here? I see this one. It's number 15, the number that comes after 14. Are you ready to count 15 dinosaurs? Why don't we make it a math problem? Okay, first I wanna count five blue dinosaurs. One, two, 
three, four, five, okay. And then I want to count, how about five green dinosaurs? One, two, three, four, and five. This means five blue dinosaurs plus five green dinosaurs. Well, that equals 10. We need how many more dinosaurs to make 15? Five more, right. Why don't we pick the red ones? One, two, three. Uh-oh, the dinosaurs are falling. Four, and here's one, five. That equals 15 dinosaurs. You did great, that's a big number. Now we need number 16. And here's number 16, it's blue. Let's count how many dinosaurs make 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. That's 16 dinosaurs all piled up. Now we can put number 16 in his home right there after 15. What's next? I wanna save number 20 for last. Let's do number 19. Another big number. Let's count together. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, and 19. Number 19 makes 19 dinosaurs. Okay, hmm, we have two numbers left. Let's do number 20. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Make sure you help me and count. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty dinosaurs all piled up put number 20 in our home. I do have one number left. Do you know what number this is? It's the number zero, which represents zero dinosaurs. So there's nothing to count. We can just put number 20 right here. Are you ready to count together with me? Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Why don't we put our adding and subtracting symbols away? That's the equal sign, that's the plus sign, and that's the minus sign. You did so great today with the numbers and the dinosaurs. Let's play again another day. Each of these pumpkins is actually a jack-o'-lantern. Let's see what's inside each surprise. Will you help me count them? Thanks. Our first jack-o'-lantern is number one. Let's see. And what's inside? It's a candy corn. This candy corn is number one. Okay, 
Let's put it right there. What about our next pumpkin? Jack-o-lantern. Let's open it up. Hmm, what is that? Oh, they're witches' hats. These witches' hats are so cute. Let's count them. One, two, two witches' hats. Okay, let's put them over here. And now for jack-o-lantern number three. Here we go. Hmm, what is that? They're haunted houses. Ooh, they look like scary houses. Perfect for Halloween. Let's count. One, two, three. Three haunted houses. Okay, we'll put them right there. And are you ready for our next jack-o'-lantern? Here we go. Let's see. Hmm, I wonder what's inside here. Oh, look, there are more pumpkins. And those are spider webs. Definitely have some spider webs around Halloween. Let's count them. Will you help me? One, two, three, and four. Four Halloween items. Now we need to put them over here, line them up. Oh, look, well, they're all lined up. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. All ready for Halloween. Are you ready for our next pumpkin? Jack-o-lantern. Okay. Oh, I lost one. Here it is. Okay, you can't run away. You gotta be right there. Let's line them up. And let's see what these are. They're candy corns. Delicious candy, all for Halloween. Will you help me count them? One, two, three, four, and five. Five delicious candy corns. And now our next jack-o'-lantern. Are you ready to open? Yes, let's see what's inside. Oh, what is that? Let's turn these over. These are erasers. It looks like kitty cats and ghosts. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have three cats and three ghosts. That makes six Halloween erasers. Okay, let's line them up. Are you ready for the next one? I am. Here we go. And can you say the word pop? Yes, good job. What is in here? Uh oh, another one ran away. Oh, it's more candy corns. These are so delicious. Okay, will you help me count them? And this time we'll line them up right here while we count them together. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, and seven, seven candy corns. I wonder how many are gonna be in our last jack-o'-lantern. Let's open them up and see. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of different things. Let's turn them over. Okay, will you help me count them all? Let's do it together. One, two, three, that's a pumpkin. Four, it's a witch's hat. Five, six, spider web. Seven, and our last one is number eight, our last candy corn. Let's put him down here at the bottom. I think we need to make sure all of our Halloween items are in a row. Let's line up each jack-o'-lantern and make sure we counted them all. Here we go, here we go. One, put him right there. Jack-o'-lantern number two, right there in front of the witch's hats. Jack-o'-lantern number three, at the haunted houses. Jack-o'-lantern number four. Jack-o'-lantern number five. Number six, seven, 
and eight. You did it! What a fun Halloween game! Let's keep playing with the pumpkins. It's an orange pumpkin. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, what do we have here? Let's see. We have some ghosts and some pumpkins. Let's count them. One ghost, two ghosts, three ghosts, one pumpkin, two pumpkins, three pumpkins. Three plus three equals six. Great job. Let's count just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what's in the next pumpkin. It's another orange pumpkin. Let's see. Hmm. Wow, these look like candy corns. Oh, look at their fun faces. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five. Five candy corns. Look, <laughs> that one does not look happy. But this one is laughing. I wonder what's inside this pumpkin. Are you ready to see? Hmm, <gasps> it's Halloween cats. They look like kitty cats. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three Halloween black cats. And now for our next pumpkin. Let's see what's inside. Wow, this looks like Halloween houses with witch hats. Wonder how many there are. Let's line them up and see. We have one Halloween haunted house two Halloween haunted houses, three Halloween haunted houses, one witch hat, and another witch hat. Let's count them all together and see how many we have total. One, two, three, four, five. Three houses plus two hats make five. You're doing great. This pumpkin feels really heavy. I'll bet there's a lot of items inside. Let's see. Yes, there are a lot of items. And they're all candy corns. Some look happy and some don't look happy. Will you help me count them all? Thanks. Okay, let's move them over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have ten Halloween candy corns. It's a schoolhouse. A schoolhouse is where people go to learn, where there's a teacher and they play with their friends. It's a fire station. A fire station has big red trucks and firemen work there so that they can keep us safe from fires. It's an ice cream shop. An ice cream shop is where they sell ice cream where we can get delicious flavors like chocolate and vanilla and rainbow sprinkles. It's a hospital. A hospital is where people go when they're sick and the doctors and nurses help them feel better. It's a train station. A train station is where lots of trains come and drop off people and pick them up so they can travel and see the world. It's a police station. A police station is where police officers work and they wait so when we call them and we need them, they can come and rescue us. Police station. White car four. It's an ambulance. Yellow car one. Let's see what it is. It's a school bus. Kids ride in a school bus to get to school. Pink car five. This is an ice cream truck. I love ice cream and all the flavors. Red car three. 
It's a fire truck. Blue car two. Let's see what this one is. It's a police car. Green car zero. This one is a train. Let's start with yellow car number one. This is yellow. And here there's one dot. It's the school bus. Which building should we lock the school bus on? The school, right. This is where kids go to learn and the school bus takes them there. Let's lock it right on here. There we go. Now let's look at pink car number five. This color is pink and let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. This is the ice cream truck. Which building goes with the ice cream truck? Is it the fire station? <laughs> no. Right, it's the ice cream shop. The ice cream truck carries ice cream from the ice cream shop to everybody who wants one. Let's lock it right here. There we go. Now let's look at red car three. This is the color red. And here we have three dots. Let's count them together. One, two, three. Yes, this is the fire truck. Which building goes with the fire truck? You're right, it's the fire station. At the fire station, they wash the fire trucks to prepare them to go put out fires and save people. Let's lock it right here. Great job. What about white car four? Let's count the dots and see what this is. One, two, three, four. This is the ambulance and this is the color white. Where should we put this locking car? You're right, with the hospital. The ambulance takes people who are sick or injured to the hospital so they can be fixed and get better by doctors and nurses. Let's lock it right here. What about our green car, Zero? Zero doesn't have any dots and it's a train. Where does the train go? Right, it goes to the train station. Let's lock it right here. Choo choo. And now our last car, blue car two. Let's count the dots and make sure this is number two. One, two. And this is a police car. Our last building is the police station. The police car takes policemen and police women to and from the police station so they can make sure that we're safe. Now that we've locked each car onto the right building, why don't we unlock them and see what prizes are inside? Here I have our keys. Let's find which key goes with each car. Let's start with our police building. Remember, this police car was the number two. And here's the number two. We need to find the key that has a two on it. Hmm, that's zero, one. Here's the number two. Let's see if it fits. Make sure we put it in right and turn. It was right, it came unlocked. Let's see what's inside. That's the number two. What's inside? Wow, look at all of these items that have to do with the number two. This is an orange barn. That's the number two. And those are one, two dots. Hmm, it's another surprise inside. A yellow duck. Quack, quack, quack. And look, it's another ladybug. Let's count the dots. One, two. And the ladybug is orange, just like the barn. You were right, that's the number two. And last in here we have a green number two. That's green, and that's the number two. Next, let's open our hospital box. Remember, this one has four dots. One, two, three, four. Let's find the key that has a four on it. Let's see. Is this the number four? No. 
What about this one? Yes, that's the number four. Let's open up our locking car. We did it! Can't wait to see the prizes inside. Hey, what's this? These all have to do with the number four. First, we have a green present, and that's the number four. Oh, look, four dots. One, two, three, four. And inside is a green lizard. That's a fun surprise. And here, we have a blue barn. Four dots, and that's the number four. Oh, what's that? Let's see, it's four blue blocks. Let's stack them. One, two, three. Oh no, it fell. Four, there we go. Next, why don't we open our locking train car? Remember this one was the number zero. Let's find the key that has a zero on it. Let's see, that's the number five. That's not a zero. It would be at the other end. Here we go, that's a zero. Let's unlock the train. I can't wait to see what's inside. This is the number zero. Let's see. Oh, it's a trick box. Zero means you don't have any items. Nothing in the box, so there's zero. Now, let's open the school bus. Remember, the school bus has one dot, so we need to find the key with the number one. Let's see, is it that one? Nope, remember that's the number two. What about that one? No, that's the number three. Let's see, there it is. That's the number one. Here we go. Inside this box, we have lots of things that are number one. Well, let's see here. It's a fish bowl and the fish is blue. That's one bubble. But that's not a fish inside. It's Mr. Shark, but he has a one on him also. And here we have one present. There's the number one. Inside, that's one dot. And look, one airplane. Do you know what color this box is? It's red. Great job. Hey, there's one thing left in here. It's one white ball. And now, let's open the fire truck. Remember, this one has three dots. Let's count them. One, two, three. And this was the color red. Let's look for our keys. Hmm. Oh, yes! I found the right one the first time. That's the number three. Here we go. Hey, this is a fishbowl, but it has three bubbles. Let's count them. One, two, three. You're right. Let's see what's inside. And it's an octopus with the number three on it. I wonder what's next. It's another ladybug. One, two, three. It's the number three. And this color is blue. We have our last number three. This one is green. And our last box is the number five. It's our ice cream truck. Let's count one more time just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, is it this one? Nope, that's the number four. That means five is next. Yes, you're right. It's the number five. Here we go. Maybe there's a whole bunch of ice cream inside. Wow, look at all of the prizes that have a five on them. First, we have a purple barn with the number five. I wonder if there's something inside. There is, it's a horse. Let's see what's next. Here is the number five, and this is blue. And now it's a ladybug. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. We were right, that's the number five. Let's park our bus inside the schoolhouse now. Let's lock it and put it away. Box number one, the schoolhouse. Now let's put the fire truck in the fire station. Here we go. Now the fire people will be ready to fight fires again. 
box number three, the fire station. And of course, the train goes inside of the train station. Box zero, the train station. It's time for the police car to go to the police station. Lock it up tight. That's box number two, the police station. The ambulance has to go to the hospital now. Bye ambulance. That was box number four, the hospital. And box number five, the ice cream truck needs to go back to the ice cream store so it can stock up all of its ice cream. Goodbye box number five, the ice cream store. Thank you for helping me put each vehicle in the correct store. Today we got to learn about ice cream stores and ice cream trucks, hospitals and ambulance, fire stations and fire trucks, police stations and police cars, train stations and trains, and of course, schoolhouses with school buses. Let's play again another day. Let's practice our shapes and learn about sizes today. Our first shape is a circle. A circle is round, doesn't have any edges. Say the word circle and they'll appear. You did it, you made the circles appear. Can you point to the large circle? Right, this is it. It's pink and it's large. Let's put it here in the circle spot. Now can you point to the medium circle? Yes, it's right here, the medium circle. This one is red. Now can you point to the small circle? It's the only one left. Yes, this is it. This is also pink, the small circle. Now our rectangle has two sides of equal length and two shorter sides of equal length. It also has four corners. Can you say the word rectangle? You did it! You said rectangle and green rectangles appeared. Can you point to the large rectangle? Yes, it's right here in the middle. This large rectangle is green. Let's put it there. Can you point to the medium rectangle? Yes, it's right here. Let's count our corners and just make sure we have the right one. One, two, three, four. Two long sides and two short sides. That's the medium rectangle. Now can you point to the small rectangle? Right, here it is. That's our small rectangle. Next we have our triangle. A triangle has three corners and three sides of equal length. One, two, three. Say the word triangle and you'll make it appear. You did it again! Look at all the blue triangles that appeared. Now, can you point to the large triangle? <laughs> right again, here it is. Now I need you to point at the medium triangle. You did it! Here we go. Now for the last one, the small triangle. Yes, it's the last one. Let's count our corners and make sure we have a triangle. One, two, three. You did great. Hey, I'll bet you know what this shape is. It's a square. Four corners and four sides of equal length. Now can you say the word square? You did it again. You said the word square and yellow squares appeared. Now I need you to point to the small square, the small one. Right, this is the small one. Let's put it in the middle. Can you point to the medium square? Yes, medium yellow. Can you point to the large square? Right, this is it. It's time for our last shape. This is a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides of equal length and five corners. Let's count the sides to make sure. One, two, three, four, 
five. You say the word Pentagon. You did it again. You said Pentagon and orange pentagons appearing. Can you point to the large pentagon? Right, here it is. Let's count those corners and make sure that we have a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. Right, five corners. Can you point to the medium pentagon? Yes, great job. And now last but not least, we have our small pentagon. Let's put it in there. Let's look at our colors one more time. This is pink, green, blue, yellow, and orange. Circle, rectangle, triangle, square, pentagon. Oh no, all of my sizes got mixed up. Will you help me put them back in order? Thanks. Let's start with all of the large shapes. How about the large pentagon? Do you see it? Yes, it's right here. That's the large pentagon. Now what about the large square? Remember a square has four sides and four corners. Do you see the large square? Can you point to it? Yes, it's right here. Large square. Now do you see the large triangle? Remember it's blue. Yes, here it is. Now it's time for our large rectangle. Can you point to the large rectangle? Right, and it was green. You're doing great. Now our large circle. Do you remember this was pink? Point to it for me. Yes, here's our large circle. These are all of the large shapes. Do you remember what comes next? Next is the medium shape. Let's go this way, start here. Can you point to the medium circle? Yes, here it is. Now the medium rectangle. Remember this one's green. Right, here it is. And now the medium triangle. Do you remember this color? Yes, it's blue. Here's the medium triangle. And now a medium square. It's right here, so close. Medium square. And the medium pentagon. Can you point to the one with five corners and five sides? Right, it was really close. Now for our last size, and it's the smallest one. Can you point to the small circle? Right here. Now, how about the small rectangle? Here it is, that's the small rectangle, and that was green. Now, the small triangle. Yes, do you remember that color? Blue. Now the small square. This one's yellow. Right, it's right here. And now the small pentagon. It's our last one. You got this. Here are our shapes. Let's look at them one more time. Circle, rectangle, triangle, square, Pentagon. Great job!